So in this video, I'm going to talk about the solar panels that are on the house I'm renting and talk a little bit about how they work and some of the problems that we've had with the electrical system since being in this house and what I think about the system. So this is my breaker box. And just to the right of it sit these two DC inverters. They're the inverters for the uh, solar panels up on the roof. They are these models made by Solar Edge, and supposedly they work really good. Now something that sucks and is really stupid is if the power goes out, well you still have no power. Obviously you have to get batteries or something, so there has to be batteries, you've got to buy that system if you want to have power when the power's out. You can sell power back to the grid, but you're limited to only selling back a thousand kilowatt hours back that's the most that, that you can get taken off of your bill they don't tell you that i'm not on the electric bill when i rented the house the electricity it stayed in the landlord's name and it still is to this day it's in the landlord's name and and they can't switch there's like a 15 or 20 year contract that the previous homeowner signed up for and, and so that just rolled over to the new homeowner which is my landlord so so they can't switch electric companies which means i can't shop for and switch electric companies not that that's a good idea or anything, I don't know. But you know how you, you go in sometimes in the store and you got these these people, you know, what are they, these these stand-up telemarketers. They're like, hey, who do you have for your for your electric provider? Would you be interested in, in, in switching? Well, that doesn't work for me. Yeah, sorry. But these things, they really don't help for the electric bill. I had an $800 bill for my landlords a couple months ago or last month, one of the two. There's no point in these, these things. They're just a waste of money. So when you're on this system and this setup, you've got to have a bi-directional meter. So you see this meter here, this is at night, so obviously I'm not generating no power. But you see over here we've got this arrow. And that arrow is pointing towards the meter, which means that we are taking power from the grid. Sometimes I see the, the arrow going the other way during the day when I'm not really using much electricity. I can see that it does produce power. Now this I think is unrelated and this came about because our lights kept flickering, dimming and when the washer would be running it would, the lights would flash like it was really bad. So the lights dim. I don't think you can really tell with the um, video but then when I turn the microwave on and once it gets going We've got a big voltage imbalance. So back on Christmas day of 2022, the lights were dimming really bad with different things. I came outside and I saw this. There was active sparks and glowing heat being generated at the case of my breaker box. All right, let's look at that again for a minute. So yes, you heard me right we had sparks or heat, active heat being generated right there where the wires go through. I thought maybe we had a bare wire touching against the casing, the side, you know, and it just needed to be repaired. So I tell the wife and I'm like, okay, we, we, got, we better tell the landlords. Me, knowing what I know about electricity, I know that shouldn't be happening. So I tell the landlords and they're like, okay, you gotta call the power company. So I call the power company. Okay, so just real quick, so the landlords can know, we've got, say again, t explain to me again. Basically a bad neutral. Underground? Yeah, underground going all the way here, all the way down, and to the, to the pedestal. Okay. I looked on my map, it says it's still there. Okay. So he said, all the way to the pedestal. So he's talking about in the corner of the property over there. So we've got the three lines, the neutral and the two hots that go from the meter all the way to that box, underground. So they had to call some electricians and the electricians had to come and dig all this out. They tore up the backyard by my pool, dug this all out, uh, and they replaced the neutral. And then they ended up cutting out that tree. The landlords did that. And so supposedly this fixed it all. And so while my power was off and I had to have a generator running, I was messing around and I noticed in my breaker box that these wires right here from the solar panel system were not tight. We've got this issue right here, it's this wire that's been melting and overheating, and it's because 
because this right here, it's not even tight. So, and I can do this right now because power's off. They're coming to hook it up in a little bit, but like these are supposed to be super tight. And like this one over here is tight. So is this one. But this one here, it's not even tight. So that's, that's terrible. And that's the exact reason why this is has this has been overheating so i don't know who installed this but they should be ashamed of themselves so we've got a bad neutral probably caused from the tree but this here is just embarrassing and it should by no standards meet anything that an electrician should be doing they should do a better job and these connectors like why would they use something so cheap and so crappy to connect something that's generating high voltage and high amps, especially that many panels. We're talking about connecting to the main lugs or the main wires, the one out wires that are coming into the house. They're gonna they're gonna grab on with these little teeth here and they're gonna they're supposed to provide amperage and enough power into my system and to feed back to the grid with these really that's embarrassing, man. They should be ashamed of themselves. I would never do that to a customer. But this is what I got, so I got to work with it. So do the best I can to clean them up and then uh, and then reinstall it. It's not my house. If it was my house, I would do it differently. But apparently, Solar Edge, um, solar panel manufacturing company, approves of this method of installation. So just watch out for that if you're shopping for solar panels. Another name out there, these guys come to the house and service to, and supposedly maintain this stuff is Sunrun. So I guess the idea behind these uh, little contraptions here is you know, you get your, you get them on your big conductor and then you add your little conductor, which goes to your solar panel inverters into here, okay? And you get it all right, put together, and then you tighten it down with this, with this one screw but they should not be hand tight to where you can just loosen them up with your fingertips. So make sure that your electrician or guy, or if you're doing it, whoever's doing it, takes a wrench or a socket or whatever and tightens it down pretty tight. So that's all I got for this video. I hope this helps somebody. Don't try this unless you know what you're doing. Thanks for watching.